people my people now today I'm going to go out on a limb and actually uh, review some well-established English stuff so there's all that behind me that is local and the majority of it is Victorian which I live in a truly blessed state with a thriving um, craft and small batch uh, distillery industry distilling industry sorry and now today I'm going to go and do this stuff it's the well famous well established Bombay Sapphire London Dry Gin that's vapor infused from a 1761 recipe so that on top of my head does it they've been doing this for about 250 years okay so and it's a nice pretty bottle it's got a whole lot of oops put it up they they actually do um, images and names of um, and origins of their botanicals so it's got juniper lemon peel coriander so the juniper is from Italy the lemon peel is from Spain the coriander is from Morocco the Angelica is from Saxony which would be Germany and the orris root is from Italy um, it's also got grains of paradise from West Africa juniper uh, cubeb berries from Java um, cassia bark from Indochina perhaps they haven't heard of a little place called Vietnam um, and that's for West Africa can't they name one of the countries uh, almonds from Spain and licorice from China so this is a market dominant brand walk into any bottle shop in Australia and I think certainly the UK because it's a British brand but our brand and you're gonna find this stuff so it having tried it a couple of times it look it's a it's a perfectly workable London dry gin okay these in fact I think these people invented London dry gin and correct me in comments if I'm wrong and in 1761 they've had well over 200 nearly 270 years <clears throat> 260 years to get this right and the smell uh, of happiness and the taste of happiness is yeah they've nailed it but I've got to ask us a question because well I'm that sort of guy I ask questions that was a couple of our mates Australia has a <clears throat> award-winning on a global scale distilling industry okay it, you know every time I click open the newsletters it's you know this local distillery has won this award at San Francisco or London or Berlin or Paris or wherever so as good as what this is and I'll admit it's not English will it's actually very good and for $55 um, it's a wonder that this dominates the shelf um, in my local bottle shop and this and this don't both these gins are Victorian okay this one's from this one's from good flam this one's from Nana Wadding so I'm still already established this is a perfectly okay, workable dry gin it's 40% it, it's um you know makes it lethal GNT I've had a smaller bottle experimented with this but if I was to go local and by all means if you're Australian please do choose Australian stuff over the the in, much cheaper imported stuff because bear in mind the British don't pay anywhere near the excise tax that we do um, in fact I was chatting to an American friend the other day and he said oh look your your gin's expensive in case of do we literally pay ten times the excise chat um, tax that you do Americans pay ten dollars a litre we pay a hundred and that's the reason why so if I was to decide that I do want to drink the rest of this trip it down a sink yes I know I'm just having a heart attack which local gins would I do <clears throat> my first up it would be the miners pick from sorry it's my phone telling talking to me my miners pick from uh, Mason still be down one baggie it's a charity it's got the whole feel-good stuff Kim will mail you bottles if you're in Australia and New Zealand and I think she'd have a crack if you're in England so that's the very first one it's at least as good and made in tiny at the other batches in comparison sorry someone sent me an email 
Um, the next one I would do would be Pussum News Signature. Um, gets a lethal nice dry gin, a little bit in the bottle. Oh yeah, um, much easier drinking. So I'm gonna say to you is if you're an Aussie and you're watching this and you walk into a, and you wanna go getting something, yeah, you, you might not be watching this either on your phone or a computer or whatever, it's an internet capable device. It's easy enough to click on the link that's attached to this um, review and order something from Kim. Now, mates is a, um, this is a charity. You, you order this stuff and you're in the Northern Territory, you're actually helping out another Aussie. 50% um, of profits from Mates Distillery goes towards a um, charity. This stuff is at least as good. Small distillery. Um, I'm going to reach behind me and say to you that. Yep. This would be a comparable gin. It's Jindu's Australian Dry. Um, because we all know Australia is a dry continent. Um, what else would I hit? Melbourne Gin Company would be a comparable Australian Melbourne Gin Company. It uh, is quite easily available in most Dan Murphy's if you're an Aussie. If not, you can't. You're someplace that doesn't have it. Reach out to um, them and they will get a hold of you. Um, or at the very that's about as far as I'm going to go. Um, they're Australian, they're local, you're supporting Aussies, and they are at least as good tasting, if not better, than their stuff. Um, and you're helping another Aussie. What more can I say? Let's, let's continue this. We've got to support an industry. Why buy this for $55 when you can get this and help out, literally help out a mate? Word to come over the labels. Um, or you can pick up these, and I trust you. Trust me, this has picked up a damn sight more gongs recently than this stuff has. Small people, let's all grab that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll catch you.